So, uh, <laughs> welcome to another bad podcast, mother. Just kidding, I'm not gonna say the last one. Welcome, we're back here at the quarantine headquarters here with the usual baddies. I'm Herbert. I'm Jonathan. Ronnie. <clears throat> and Rika. And uh, we're gonna get this quarantine podcast started. Uh, one of the, okay, first Wait, of all, why is it a quarantine podcast? Quarantine, 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 bro. Yeah. Together? People are dying in the streets. Uh, well, in the streets. Trump is going to be walking right now. In the streets. With a magnifying glass. Oh, what a magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, well, what do you want to talk about, Herbert? So, uh, just how everyone's dealing with it. If it's actually affected any of you guys' like, daily life. Yeah. Well, it's like, <laughs> oh, no, but what, for me, uh, starting off with the uh, guess I'm Jonathan, you know. Uh, yeah, so it has affected me a lot because I don't see you guys. Like, today's the first day since I've seen you guys since when? Like, three since ago? maybe you went it's off for an adventure? Okay, well, first stop, stop. Alright, take it back, take it back. You didn't hear anything about an adventure. I don't know what he did. To his about. backyard to cut some oranges. Yes. So, no, what, I, what we've been doing is, uh, what I've been doing, uh, I've just been doing home workout, dude, and, uh, cycling with Enrique. It's today's his birthday. Happy birthday, Woo! Enrique. And, Happy birthday. uh, you know, we've been, uh, I've been doing, trying to stay active. And I've been, actually, the cool part, no, nah, it's not really cool because, you work from home, but you can't really like go out and like go to the, I don't know, the mall or whatever. I wanted to go buy some stuff at REI. Everything's closed. So like, what's going on? Like, I feel like every day is a weekend to me. Well, this kind of sucks because you're just staying home. I'm working from home one day and yeah, I was, I was like, I was working from home a little bit. I was like, yeah, I'll step off this computer for like 30 minutes. And then like, I come back and there's like a bunch of emails and I get all scared that my boss knows that I'm not working. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary because he knows you walked off. Yeah. Well, cause he, because online, like, you see the Skype, like, you see online, like, a little bubble that says online. You know? Oh, no, we're not using Skype. You know, you say, no, no, I'm not seeing, like, uh, like, the messenger. Like, oh, okay. when you turn on your computer, oh, yeah, yeah. Mine, it, it, it links, right? It, like, yeah, it goes yeah. on, and yeah. if you exit, your boss knows that you're on if it says online. Yeah. And it says offline for, like, seven hours, that means you've been, like, doing something that you should not be doing, right? You should be working from home. Um, there's a lot of policies about it, but, yeah, dude, uh, telecommuting is not that cool, dude. I, I feel like everybody has... I think I missed the gym, you know, and I've been, I've been like, once every, I think once everything happens and it goes away, well, it's not really going to go away, right? It's going to calm down. I feel like it's still going to, everybody's going to be scared to go outside, dude. Uh, I don't know. So what have you been doing, Ronnie? Well, has anything mm-hmm. changed? Anything changing? I feel like just a weekend life. So obviously that's out of the... Actually, the yeah. But... Yeah, right off the bat. <laughs> um, Woke up. I now. mean... <laughs> 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 I mean, I still, I still go to work. Uh, I'm still, I still have to be physically there. And they're, they're talking about setting us up to work from home, but I don't want to say it's a long ways away, but I don't know. It might happen. But as of now, I still go to work, which is kind of cool because I feel like some people right now that are quarantined and they don't have work. Oh, that's They're true. like running out of things to do. Thankfully, no. Thankfully, yeah. also we get uh, at least an income. Yeah, that's income, income, part. yeah. I, I, I know people, sure. I know some people from, Cal, I just talked to in Cal Poly who have to move back because they're not, they're, whatever they, restaurant they work that close. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a good oh. amount of people like, that are not working right now. I think like, almost like 3 million people applied for unemployment this past <clears throat> 3 million people applied for unemployment? This past week. This past week? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, whatever, dude, uh, I don't have anything against it, dude. Everybody has to, you know, help each other out. Like, yeah, I, it's tough. like we had one of our friends, you know, I don't want to say his name, but we told him, like, we'll help him out, you know, like, who? <laughs> <laughs> not you, not you. <laughs> no, one of our friends, but our close friends, uh, it, that we, we, he, he, he has been on the group chat. He doesn't know what's going yeah. on. Yeah. But, um, yeah, dude, it's a tough time, dude. Um, I'm happy, like you're saying, I'm happy that you're, at least you're working, Ronnie, or, most yeah, of us here in the room are working. Yeah, thankfully. Yeah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I'm, I'm not working right now. <laughs> Ever since I got back from my own vacation, I, I came back without a job. So I've, I've actually been on unemployment since, I guess, January like 5th, I think. I think when it started. So I guess what changed in my life, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be just activities. I'm on the bright side, though, because I've been trying, since I got back, I've been trying to be productive and, like, I guess, spend my time wisely more often. And I guess having this time off has been helping me specifically with not being having the fun activities being cut off, like going out on the weekends. That was a daily thing for me at some point because <laughs> I had nothing to do, right? I had no job and stuff. But um, I started a book yesterday. I'm already in chapter two. I'm proud of myself. I'm trying to create a habit on reading books. What book? What do you um, mean? 
It's it's a pleasure reading, I guess you could say. It's, it's just a book on war, I guess. And it's just kind of just interesting to read. Oh, did you ever finish that podcast? No, I didn't. I haven't, it's, I haven't it's done super long, huh? It's just long, it's like three hours. Yeah, yeah. But I'm finished it though. But okay. I think it's fifty shades of great, right? Th- no, no, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a pleasure it's, read. That's what it's, 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 it's called. I finally remember the name. It was like Tears of Fire or something. I don't know. It's, it's a what's a war book, but I'm reading that for pleasure. I'm just trying to create a good habit of reading reading books. I'm not the best reader, but I'm trying to create that habit. My next book I want to jump into after this, I guess you could call it pleasure reading, is a financial book. Oh, I thought you said the Bible. <laughs> no, a financial book. Well, so, so I can read about. <laughs> thoughts or just more financial decisions i guess just create that good habit i'm also trying to wake up early I and mean, honestly I, a recommendation for you guys in quarantine try to create good habits because honestly we're all full of bad habits they could be small they could be big but you can definitely That's adjust your life to like a more productive way that can really help you in the long run no matter what it is well, so read a book if you're at home do home workouts you know go do stuff that's just productive instead of just i guess binging on netflix or whatever I mean, I do it too, but I'm just saying, maybe one of the days try to like be productive instead of just not True. doing it. Yeah, and yesterday I was actually watching Netflix and I was doing sit-ups and I'm proud of myself. You're doing sit-ups? See, there you go. Oh, I'm yeah, watching. I, mean, I have to because like, like honestly, after you're doing it, <laughs> you feel like a slug, right? Dude, I out. feel like, I feel yeah. like I lost weight. Yeah. Well, because I've been bike riding and just doing stuff like that. So. No, come on. No, but I just feel like <laughs> I'm probably losing muscle weight. You know, Probably. which is, yeah. but it's not muscle memory. So don't be, it, all you guys, whoever's yeah, a gym, yeah, yeah, whoever's gym, gym rat out there, like, don't be, a, don't be like, oh, trying to buy weights. Cause dude, it's just going to be a short period of time. We're all going to just live through it. Actually, I think enjoy your time off, you know, let your body rest and then come back strong. Uh, that's what I think. Um, and then Ronnie, you're saying that, so you're saying that you work from home, right? Well, no, you don't work from home. You work at the office. How's the, how's the freeways, dude? Oh. Huge traffic right now is fantastic. That's yeah, great. Yeah, usually my usual commute was around like thirty, like twenty thirty minutes. Right now it's like fifteen minutes. Like Damn. Flat. Yeah. How fast are you going though? Honestly, legally, of like, course, legally. Yeah, but like the freeway is like open. Like I don't know. You just you just, just let myself go. Like, yeah, let's go ninety, like all the way there. Hey, so you, you were talking about because uh, I haven't been working um at the base. Mm-hmm. I guess we're talking about. You guys got a letter? What's that letter about? You remember you were telling me about the letter? Oh, yeah. We got one of our uh, work uh, from our president that we have like a essential workers letter. Is that oh, what you're talking about? Hey, dude, that word is like, dude, every time my friends, I talk to friends that don't use big words and they say essential, like, damn, they sound professional. We're essential, dude. We're essential. Yeah. More than five letters? Again, feel- be productive. Try to create, try to be more human and, you know, understand the world a little better. Even without the quarantine, even when the virus goes away. Respect people and their jobs, and you know what I mean. Everyone's in their own story, their own chapter. Except that they're coughing. Don't respect that. <laughs> Shoot them. <in> the <laughs> nah, I feel like a lot of this. This is teaching us a lot of good things. You know, I feel like a lot after we're done with this, uh, we're not really going to be done with this because we're still going to have it around. But I feel like this is going to teach us a lot, like about everything. You know, like environment, about the people, about your. You know, you could. Dude, I've been spending more time at home with my parents. Yeah, you know, I was about to say that. I was spending more time with my family. I actually kind of like it. You kind of like it. It's pretty yeah. cool, dude. You, you, like, you get to see... Sometimes I'll just come home and just go to sleep and wake up and start yeah. the day and go to work, school. And now, like, it's different. I wake up, I turn on the computer, and I go online, you know, it's for work. or I still have Zoom. Okay, another thing is, I don't know if I... This is a, for Enrique, because I know he's going to school right now. Do you have online classes? So, I, my class is all canceled for a week. Um, and, and that week ends in March 28th, which is in a couple of days. And before, when it initially started, the very first day class got canceled, we, I had an actual math session class, like online with the video and everything, video chat and everything. And I guess my professor got in trouble for doing right. that. And, and she asked the students, is that okay with you guys? We all said yes. I, I believe there's like 28 in the class and 28 of us were online with the video camera. Not everyone showed their face, but we we're all online. And she gave the class and then it worked out. Honestly, I mean, not as effective, but I mean, it worked out. But she got in trouble because I guess there's a lot, a lot of policies when it comes to like how they can deliver their, uh, first of all, she has to have subtitles for everyone's, I don't know, well, you know what I mean? It, it, it's school policies, obviously, maybe she has an accent, maybe she doesn't, but there has to be subtitles to accommodate all the students mm-hmm. in the classroom. And whether we all have smartphones or not, because that's all it takes, you have to assume that there's that one student that doesn't have a smartphone, mm-hmm. or doesn't have the way to I guess have that class session with you and you, you're, you're sending them to a library or to a school and they're the only one you're sending to school just to have that session online. So yeah. there's a whole lot of problems about like, she got in trouble for having that class. Even yeah. though we all agreed, we were all on, everything was like, I guess, good, but she got in trouble, she said. 
So then she cancelled all the homework. We say she cancelled everything and actually waited until the 28th to, to, I guess, do online classes the way the, the well, school board thinks it's fair. Yeah, I feel like everybody in, like, Kelsey Long Beach, they, like, right, right away, they, they, uh, they adopted the, the fact that, you know, we're not going to come back to school and, uh, this whole semester is going to be online. So we've been doing Zoom. I don't know if you guys heard about Zoom, but Zoom yeah. is a new thing, which is pretty cool. I did. I never heard about Zoom until they sent it out this, you know, this past two weeks. But I feel like there's a lot of Skype. There's what team, uh, Teams and Microsoft. Like that's a new thing, I guess. But yeah, dude, um, I did a test online and it's crazy. Like I feel like some people are cheating, but what? whatever. It is what it is. You did. Has become harder. Do you have to make it, 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 To be honest, the it's not it. Okay, this doing stuff at home is it's kind of like like you're close to your bed. You're close to like a lot of things. You're close to your parents. You know, you're talking to them. All your comfort distractions. Distract, yeah, for sure. Distractions are there, you know, and it's hard to fight them. <laughs> but at the same time though, like me and a few other students and even the, my professor, when we had that one class session, we all participated a lot more. I mean, those a different vibe, I guess, oh, from you being alone. And I mean, I have my own headset. So like I was actually talking more and I, I felt more comfortable talking. Some students are more shy than others. I'm not at all, but you could still, I don't know, it's just easier, I guess, to talk online if you just, you don't, there's not a, I don't know, it's different, but there was more involvement in the online class. Yeah, the only, the only But, I mean, yeah. just like you're saying, though, it is very different. There's pros and cons, but nah, I think the cons that way, but. The only thing that sucks is that when you're online and you have your micro, uh, microphone on mute and then your mom's, like, knocking on the door or, like, your little, like, someone's running around the house. And then you're like, you can't really tell me, shut up. Like, you know, cause that's kind of disrespectful. First off. Shut the fuck up. And then second of all, like, you can't stop. You know, if you're talking, everybody, you know, like you're saying, you gotta talk. That happened to me actually. And luckily for me, I have, I have a, a, a gaming headset, honestly. So it's kind of high tech. I can just press a button on the actual headset and it mutes just the microphone and it even lights up red. So I, I can see with my eyes if my, if any, my voice or any sound around me is being transmitted or not by the simple table button. But again, that's just me because I have that headset, but I understand what you're saying. Most people, I know. if they're wearing just the normal headphones from Samsung and Apple, then anyone that makes noise is everyone's going to hear it. I've actually seen a few celebrities that have actually been humiliated online or like they're doing a little class or whatever. not celebrities, but I mean, like, I guess more famous people and they were doing a class online, like all professional, right? And then you see their husband walk in the background with a beer and underwear and stuff and then she, the guy like freaks out and like runs away. She's like, Oh my God, I'm sorry about that. And then she kind of laughs at first. But then like a second later, she just like, she just like gets so like embarrassed and disappointed at the fact that she could have possibly lose her career for that. That's true. And it's just obviously there's just so much you can control at home when you're videotaping and some of that. My teacher's professor's kid. And again, that one class, her little kid came in the back when he was dancing behind her when she was trying to teach a math problem. And I mean, kids don't really care. Adults can control it better, but I mean, it's just harder to be in your own bubble when you're trying to show yourself in a video. Yeah, online. there's no privacy. Well, yeah. there's privacy. The kid was dancing back and yeah. forth, like making funny faces. I mean, I get it. He was a kid, but she didn't notice it up until like a minute in. And then she was like, no, go away. Go to the room. I already told you. I'm busy. And then, you know, it's just, all, it's awkward because I mean, you're not going to, you're not going to, you're not going to hit the kid, but at the same time, I mean, whether it's an adult or not, <laughs> like it's just hard. A lot of people are, it's, it's a lot of restrictions here, but. How, um, how, how have you guys like family taking the virus situation? Have you guys are stocked up? Have you guys like talked and all that? Mm, well, I'll start off with me. Well, coming back from vacation, dude, I was seeing all you guys' text messages. <coughs> it was pretty scary because I left and there was nothing, you know? It was kind of quiet. Come back and, and dude, freaking fucking... people were like fighting for toilet paper at like, hospital. <laughs> yeah. And like for water, but Did I- you see the line? Yeah, I saw the line. Dude. They're like, I don't get it. Why do we want toilet paper? Yeah, it's like, the, okay, the funny part is that a lot of people want toilet paper, but they don't want soap, you know? So that means like, what? They're going to stink for days or something? Like they're, you know, it's kind of disgusting. But whatever. Going back to this, uh, yeah, my parents, I know that my dad and like, you know, my mom, they're going to, they were going to stock up. So yeah, I came back and we have everything. You have two fridges. That's the cool part. Having two fridges is awesome because you have two refrigerators, two, uh, freezers, first off. So you can put out as many, as much meat or whatever frozen food. Which will last for a while, right? So how they've been stocking up? Yeah, they've been stocking up. Yeah, um, my family too. They've been buying a lot of stuff. Well, but not a lot though. Enough for maybe to go with like a week or two. Plus yeah, a week, week or two. two. They're, they're going like every three days, every yeah. two days. It's like, what are the, we still got the stuff from the other two days. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, since uh, one of our friends, you know, you guys know who Ricardo, he works at a super, and no, we're not sponsored oh, by a super. Okay. But uh, yeah, 
he was saying that dude it's kind of quiet now like uh well you know it's already what what day is it day quarantine what is it, like second week or official yeah. by like a week yeah we just like, past sunday was official yeah. by the california but when everybody started freaking out i'm gonna say like two weeks so how are you taking yeah. it, Ronnie? I know you live by yourself. Like, are you scared, or your parents got you? Nah, I just me. I'm just chilling, man. I actually like living by myself. Like, I go home whenever I spend time with fam, but after a couple hours, I'm like, yo, like, that's like there's of, a reason I left. Yeah, like, that's enough of my parents. Thank yeah, you. yeah. I mean, I love them and all, but I mean, no, I, I need my space. And once I got used to that, I'm like, yeah, I can't give that up anymore. But as far as stocking up, I mean, I have a good amount of like food i would say my parents do too and we're not crazy like hoarders so i think like we have enough we go out for groceries like in a weekly basis basically so about, about the same as before maybe a little more just in case you know everybody freaks out again but yeah nothing out of the norm Enrique? Uh, I, I think for me it kind of like he's saying that like my parents are, are not exaggerating their buys. They still do their weekly grocery shopping or however often they normally go. They still go the same amount of normal often, I guess, but they just buy more, I guess, little stuff, some like snacks, I guess you could say. They don't really care about the whole pit, toilet paper. I don't understand why people yeah, are buying toilet paper. Yeah, a lot of snacks. Like, like <laughs> they didn't buy a lot of toilet paper. They bought the, the toilet paper they need. And if they even need some, because you do toilet paper can last. And they, everyone's buying clean stuff. Like we already have clean. They just bought the one day. They're not trying to hoard anything. They just get what they need. And if they need it, like they'll go back next week and get another one. Like they, they don't, they don't think that anything's gonna shut down. Even if we're in a crazy quarantine, it's by law you're gonna be allowed to go get medicine, food, gas, the essentials to keep you alive. So <clears throat> worst comes to worst, and which I know what the worst thing there is because martial law is. I know it, liquor but. store and dispensaries are called the essential places to, that have to be open. No, not dispensaries. Yeah, they're so. I heard that they, they close them. Oh, I, I heard some dispensaries. Yeah, that's so, but alcohol. Oh, double. Yeah, alcohol. I know alcohol. <clears throat> but I heard dispensaries, but the one I go to is still open. Yeah, you should not be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, talk, I'll, talk, I'll tell. I'll, I'll show this podcast. Yeah, yeah, and I, went to, um, I went to the liquor this weekend because I met up with a friend, and uh, you know, I want to go buy some beer. You know. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, I went in and yeah, it was actually it was popping in there like this people and I, I asked the the guy at the counter I was like yo like has it been crazy lately and he's like oh dude like definitely <laughs> he's loving it yeah man like, business is good for them but yeah people quarantine themselves obviously you can't go out on the weekend I feel like more people are like partying at home yeah partying at home like day drinking and whatnot. You either, well, you either come out an alcoholic or a really good cook after this, guys. Uh, Hopefully both of you, in my case. <laughs> <laughs> or, or I think, you know what really probably got the liquor thing popping too? Like the party at home? Dude, have you seen those like challenges? Like take a shot, see a shot, or like oh, the, do the push-ups? See a chug, send a chug. Send the chug. Yeah. Or I like, send a picture of my dog. I was, like, oh, I was see, picture that's kind of annoying to me. Like I'm, I, don't know, I don't use social media that much, but like, to me it's kind of annoying to see all that trending. But I guess it's good. It's healthy for you guys. I can do it, but... <laughs> Dude, but it's annoying to see it all the time with everyone. Like I see so many people that there's so many chats. doing push-ups, and I can really care less about seeing you do the push-ups. Yeah. Just tell me you did it. <laughs> I'll trust I'll you. Believe you. I'll, I'll believe you. I'll, I'll ask you again. And, and, don't tag, and don't tag us, please. Dude. Don't <laughs> tag us. You guys are tagging the LA baddies. I know, we're like we love y'all, but please don't tag us. Like we we we, have, we already have a lot of. Uh, Freaking request. Like, we have all three of you. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, but no. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of challenges. Um, stay healthy, guys. Uh. Yeah, I've been only seeing a lot of lives, and we've been going on live too, just to like, yes, you get to know us uh, more. But um, yeah, there's just been a lot of stuff going on, and uh, I feel like, like hiking isn't a dude. Hike. This is another thing that kind of like got me like, you know, to think like, oh, God, really? Why are they doing this? But like hiking, <laughs> like a lot of people have been hiking. I think Ricky, remember when we went to uh, British Nor or to Devil's Gulch? You know? Oh, yeah. Well, we went there, right? Remember that day though? It was raining, right? Kind of like cloudy. Yeah, like, but nice. there was a lot of people, right? Like, it was actually a decent amount of people. Yeah, so. That the, we passed. <coughs> we passed a lot I'm of not people. trying to brag here, but you know. We did like, what, 10 they, miles? They, they, hey, we were going at a normal pace. It must have been going slower than average because we weren't trying to go fast. Maybe they were not, not hikers, dude. No, but uh, I just feel like, dude, have you noticed that all these like beaches are closed? Okay, beach, I understand. Come on, why are you going to go in the water? Or not in the water, but walk close to the water yeah. at this, what is it, six, 60 degrees, 40, 40 degrees outside the weather? But even then, it's easier to pass contamination through water like that. You know, well, you can season the water and have everything. Well, it's, cancer, they're saying it's airborne, they're saying everything, you know, yeah, like, but, you know, yeah. we don't really want to bring up the C word, you know, the, I can't even say it. I can't even say it. Modelo I don't even want to say this. Modelo virus, we'll start with that. But, uh, 
Yeah, uh, what do you guys think of? I know Enrique. Oh, Enrique, can you tell everybody why you're so pissed off? Oh, uh, uh, so, <laughs> so the coronavirus was already out, right? But it wasn't that crazy. And since I got back, I've been trying to start my gym membership. So I literally bought my, I started my gym membership and I was like, you know what? It's time. I already created healthy habits. I'm trying to, right? I got, I got the book going. I, I got this. I got like, st- I have like a lot of things I did to be productive. And I finally got the gym membership. And I, I, I even assigned myself dates. On my, I have a calendar in my room on when I'm going to go on what time and how long, when I'm going to work out. I had everything set up. And the day I bought it, the next day after, they closed on all the gyms. <laughs> so I was just mad at the fact that I bought the gym membership just to get everything good to get closed down. And I, I was just sad. Oh, I was thinking about that. There has had to be a ton of people who just got their membership. And yeah, just and, and, and just got shut down. Like, oh, so I was kind of sad. Like, but now <laughs> I just have to, you know, fuck the, <laughs> but I don't know, man. Anything, anything. People who got jobs and then got shut down. Anything. That's true. Like, crazy. People are like, so, but you know who's hiring though? Uh, whoever needs a job, I've been like, keeping update. Like, on, essential workers. Yeah, essential world. Uh, Amazon, uh, Target, you know, like raises, like all these like companies Walmart. are helping their, yeah, Walmart. Like we need them, right? Like, all I want to all of a sudden, huh? Oh, dude, and like In and Out, dude, In and Out. Have you guys been to In and Out recently? No, no, dude, In and Out has been packed. Like, yeah, the guy through? Bomb too. Well, that's good, you know. Well, we went to In and Out because, dude, we deserved it. When we did the hike to Bridge Snower, we took like yeah. this off trail. What'd you eat? We ate. A, I ate a four by one. It was like a oh. six by one, dude. It was oh. amazing. Four by one, dude. What'd you get? I got just a double double. Hey, and also, <laughs> and Enrique didn't know what 4 by one means. Do you know what 4x1 means? 4 pies, 1 cheese? Yeah, that's what he thought, uh, And to it's be honest, bad. dude, I live in California, but I, everyone, like, loses their mind on in and out I can really try that. I think it's good burgers, but I'm not, like, fanatic about it like most people. And I go there, I eat out not that often. And when I eat out, it's probably not going to be in and out. I pick, I pick up the Just because this is his birthday, guys, he's... He's, he's not getting, out. like, drunk. Otherwise... Right. I don't get me wrong. I love it. It's bomb. But I don't go there often, though, to know... I, I know there's that one, like, Lumberjack Burger. I don't know what it's called. Or what's it called? The, the Blind Dutchman. I know, I know that one. Oh, the Blind Dutchman, yeah. I mean, I know. I don't know if that's right. I mean, you know. Bro, I, like, I like the uh, pickles on, on my burger. Do you like an animal style burger? That's actually how I got my... Uh, but isn't that the... What was the only thing that has fried what? The, uh, the fried... The, the, the grilled onions. Grilled onions, no. but have the pickles and the... Was the fresh sauce. See, I know. See, I know more than you. They, they, they like fried their... Uh, the, 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 the sauce and the... Oh, I think they... Yeah, I think they do fry the bun. The bun, yeah. They fry the bun or something like that. They fry it? Yeah, they fry it with... Uh, with the sauce. With the sauce, yeah. I don't know. They do something with something it. Something with it. But yeah, like... Oh, you know what? <laughs> the, the Well, at least... I'm not scared about food. You know how you're just saying that I stock up? Because at the end of the day, if I do really need food, I can just go to Grubhub or Uber Eats, or I just go pick up some food. Let's be honest. Like at the end of the day, if I need food, right? It will suck to eat out, but <clears throat> you know. No, yeah, I feel you. I'm I'm trying to see both sides too, because I I keep hearing that. Oh yeah, we're supposed to stay home, and I mean I have nothing against you guys, but like going out on trails and everything, like I mean, shouldn't you be doing that? Wait, you know what? Well, I, I actually like, read on the, uh, I live in Sousa, so in the Sousa, like the governors of Sousa, whatever, the, the politics behind it, because I follow them on Instagram, they, they post like the things you're allowed to do, things you're not allowed to do. And actually before the hike I went, because I was thinking the same question, like, is this even smart? Or am I, like how people say, am I part of the problem, part of the solution? If I go on this hike, am I part of the problem by doing this? Like part of the skeptical people? And I Googled it and everyone said that, yeah, that's healthy, that's fine, that you're not at risk. Just continue to have the good habits of distance, don't touch people, don't make out with strangers, you know, yeah. don't do nothing crazy, you know? I always forget that one. I know it's crazy to forget to remember that one, but the point is that you, you can do these physical activities uh, as long as you remember, obviously, the, the pointers to avoid the virus. But, I mean, hiking, honestly, in the mountains, it's there's, there's even less people that are technically speaking... Well, you there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of people. Like sure, this. but I mean, compared to going to the store, like doing your daily That's true. stuff out here, or going have to the. Have you guys club? been like clean more, like with your hands and sanitizing? Have you guys like? Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like with that? people's like personal hygiene, like since improved. I not really though, because a lot of people since they're staying home and they're telecommuting, they haven't showered. I kid you not. You think I'm lucky? Like, no, I showered. <laughs> but yesterday, okay, so. Is that what that smells? Like? <laughs> no, I don't want to say anything. But <laughs> no, no, yesterday when I was on, on Zoom on my class, like, my professor literally said I haven't showered in like the past day, like because we we're talking about wastewater to treat wastewater, and she was saying like you know like every city when you shower, you know the our wastewater goes to the the filtration process and all that, 
and then the bacteria eats your like your the nasty stuff you know whatever dirt and all that and then um so they were basically saying that our professor was saying that she hasn't showered so maybe the bacteria is mad at us because like some people don't shower dude <laughs> and let's, be, let's be honest dude i i think i haven't showered well i showered already but I think what, there was one day I went, like one day, yeah, like, and I normally don't do that, but it's kind of That's disgusting. That's crazy, I've gone many days, now. I don't want to brag about it, but anyways, I, I, a, a habit for me I that I changed because of the virus, I carry a little hand sanitizer everywhere I go now. Like, this is this little pocket size, I think the size of like two thumbs combined, like it's just a small little hand sanitizer, and I, I use it all the time now when I touch carts, if I'm at the store, everything I touch now, like my mom is like, she's hammering me with all this information that I already know, but she's a little superstitious because I have her little sister, but... She just doesn't want to then bring the a virus home. So yeah, I'm constantly like using hand sanitizer. And I mean, I don't know, has that changed my life? Not really, but it's just something I have to do yeah. more often. So it's not annoying or anything. It's not bad. It's just something that changed because of the virus. It's something that I've noticed more. It's something that I've yeah. been aware of yeah. more than anything. And I think, I think these habits are going to stay like even after like yeah. this whole virus like dies out. I, I hope so, honestly. I would just make the world a cleaner place or a healthier place. Have you guys seen those memes where like they're, they're, there's like the, like the whole world and it's all sad and polluted and then after the virus the world's all happy and green and like like it's just like a joke saying that like the virus is making us all become better people in every way shape or form but that, that's just the meme guys yeah, but, and, and, but it has truth behind it but there's always a silver lining to things yeah absolutely. everything so. well not only that did you guys see the venice how venice is a is like the you know how venice like everything went clean like all the like they oh, could, yeah. you can see through the like the water like that's crazy you can see through water well, you know, I mean? you know what I mean. Like you see, like the water was also, dirty. You can see through gas emissions. I don't know if you guys see like Europe's gas emissions like cut in half. Yeah, like all gas, like everything polluting is all down. Everything's down. Well, also, you know, uh, the gas went down. Yeah, over here. Too. I don't know. I heard there's one gas station around, and like in the, I heard there's a station around that it's what like it's um, it's a dollar something, dollar seventy. So I feel like I feel like um. I don't know, I feel like it's a good thing and it's, but we're not really using our cars right now, you know? Right? Are you, have you been using your car? Or for work? Just for work and that's about it. That's about it. Yeah, or, uh, Eric, have you been using your car? My car? Yeah. I've, my bike more often probably, but I mean, like today I used it because my mom needed something from the grocery store, but I mean, no, honestly, that, I mean, I don't have a job. I don't go to school anymore. Like, I, I can't go to the gym. If, if I'm hanging out with friends, either they come to me or we use the but I don't really have a use for a car right now, which kind of sucks. I've got one too, so all these things that my life got into, all of a sudden got shut down. I'm still paying for them. So actually what I did, another advice, I lowered my insurance for my car to only the liability. So I'm saving a lot of money that way for the next few months that I know I'm going to be using that car, I'm paying a lot less. And then once this virus goes away, then I put the insurance back up to where it's supposed to be because, you know, stay safe with insurance. But I lowered my insurance. I lowered everything that I had just to make sure if I'm going to use it that often, then... I'm not going to pay high insurance for it. Wait, but what if your car's parked and someone hits it? Then I'll hit it back and that's it. I have cameras in the house. <laughs> that's right. No, yeah, dude, but, uh, oh, so, so have you guys been doing uh, any, uh, any, um, home workouts? Yeah, I've just been doing stuff like, uh, push-ups, you know, sit-ups, dips. That's about it. Is yeah. there anything I could do at home? I've been doing. I think Arnold posted some. Arnold posted, oh yeah, Arnold <laughs> posted something. Yeah, yeah, he actually posted workouts that he does, and I've been trying to follow that. Yeah, oh, was some at-home workouts, right? That he used to do one. Yeah, yeah. I think I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, it's true. I, I've been doing like ab workouts. I mean, I don't have weights to so, like. Me neither. I was thinking. I was thinking. I was like, I was like the only I thing absolutely. I'm missing is biceps. Have some weights. Have some weights in that one. They're not the best. They're ugly old, and they're only like twenty pounds. I have like 10, 20 pounds or 20, 20 50 pounds. What? That's a lot, but I mean, it's something. If you guys want some, I'll give them out for free. I'll take a pair. I, I, I think I have here. I'll, I'll talk after. But I've been doing the same thing, though. <laughs> like, I have this ad worker that I love on YouTube because I feel like when, when it's when it's guided and someone has structures of what time to do it, how long to do it, and the breaks they give to you, it's easier for me to get an effective work. It's only eight minutes long, and I get sore every time I do it. And if I stop getting sore, I go to the second level of that workout because it has a level two. <laughs> how, did, how did he get sore? What's the second one? But no, I'm just saying, guys. Like honestly, ab workouts are just just little stuff you can do at home. I recommend it. Do me a favor and don't post it on your social medias. You know, maybe Dude. post one. Not not everything. If you do a ten workout, just post one, maybe two. But you know, what do you guys think <laughs> of uh, the Imagine video? Uh, oh, it's Lurie's. Yeah, 
<laughs> what, what's the living room? Who's in the good ride? Wait, which is that one? Well, they're, they're trying to, obviously again? right now, like, with these times, it's kind of hectic, it's kind of like, all this negativity. So like, yeah, I heard some celebrities like, did, it, what was it, Imagine? Imagine. Yeah, the song Imagine. Uh, what is it, Dominant, right? Dominant, yeah. Wait, did, 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 so they're just trying to like, brand new ones there, but at the same time, it's like, so okay, okay, like, all you, all you can do is like, just give me like, a song like you can do more like obviously since no, you have a ton of followers you have a lot of money like you can you can be doing more, a lot more than just they're just following a trend instead of actually singing you know what i mean doing something no like the thing is like oh you know remember the line is uh imagine no possessions uh imagine, like, imagine no if heaven. you try and then they're all like singing it's, it's and, like they're all sad they're song. all singing into their mansions like imagine no possessions imagine if you try imagine no i'm mansions. about to sing that inside my car <laughs> yeah 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 on the bike. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. also, you remember we were talking about uh, gun, gun, guns, to have own guns? Dude, they're, they're closing some down. Oh, yeah, gun stuff. Gun stuff. Gun stuff. No, yeah, but I, I said a lot of lines get pulled from, from gun stores. Like, the line goes outside just as far, if you have anything even further than Costco lines. People are crazy about looters or something, about crime going up? That's, say, and that's actually why our president might um, apply martial law, um, which is, means that activating the National Guard to, I guess, be your security guard for your city, your streets, your shopping centers, so no one breaks in, no one does anything crazy. So let me, because I have one of my friends who who goes like every other week, he like or a month, or he goes to like train. Once a month. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Will he get deployed? So like come here. Or if is he, he's, he's national guard, probably. Yeah. If not, then not likely. There's mm-hmm. active duty personnel for that. Again, if it's if you really need it, if, honestly, if, if you just need it, if, if they need if they need you, they need you. They're gonna pull you. No, that'd be that's scary because I think the be. last mm-hmm. time the National Guard was probably deployed here was the LA riots that I can remember. I don't even mm-hmm. remember. And that we were really long more. Time. See, yeah, but it happened in the nineties, late eighties. Yeah. But I think that's the last time the National Guard was deployed in California. I remember the National Guard had its base right here in Memorial Park. Remember? They did. Where the <laughs> gym was at right here. I remember we claimed there used to be a bunch of like they used to like the little garage had a bunch of military vehicles. The but anyway, the lot that we cleaned. Oh, that service. was it? Yeah, that's right where I thought it was just a shitty lot. I didn't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, that's the military for you. So that Memorial Park with the National Guard base? Yeah, it's usually small. Usually they're structured all over cities that people don't even know about because if, if they're needed, they're supposed to have their equipment and everything nearby. They're supposed to be oh, able to cool. be the a National, National Guard. Guard. <laughs> you know what I mean? If wherever they're needed in every state, they're supposed to be able to quickly be a military presence, I guess you can say. Ah. Which, which if Trump is going to apply it, that means he has to activate it before <coughs> he applies them so that everyone gets ready and gets your, gets your stuff ready. So when he says, I'm using martial law right now, in that very moment everyone starts, you're going to see in those moments in military happen like this. Ready. So, Wait, are we ready? Uh, are we ready? Am I ready? Well, yeah, we're all ready. I'll, I'll support you guys. I'll be a volunteer. Well, there's nothing to be afraid of. They're not here to hurt you. I mean, unless <laughs> you're going to try to fight one, but they're just here to protect your goods if you own a business or your houses or whatever. They're just... I guess a bunch of mall cops running around. Hey, Thank you, hey, National Guard. Hey, so I know that, uh, I know we have, uh, Herbert that, you know, you're single, Ronnie's single. And, uh, have you, have you guys, like, uh, have you been, like, looking for girls right now? Or you're, like, you're just cooling down right now? I'm cool. Like, I don't want to catch no corona. Like, like on Tinder or, like, or, or corona Tinder? Or whatever, dude. I don't know. Whatever, whatever you, uh, you guys. Must have corona. <laughs> so corona. No, have you guys, ever, have you guys, uh, cool it down? Or, cause you guys can't really do anything, right? I feel. It's a random question. Stunning. I've been cool, man. Yeah, I saw this meme though. Hold on, sorry, sorry. No, I saw this funny meme that was like, oh, when, when you can't hit up babe to like hang out at the restaurant or like at the bar, so she just has to come over. Like, there's no like initial phase to like, like lure her into show. your home. Yeah. Like, so you, you want to come <laughs> in after the date? Like, she's going to come in regardless. Now you just got to, you know, <clears throat> check me. Yeah, it does. I know you were doing stand up comedy. Like, everything's closed, right? Everything is closed. I checked. <laughs> You no, checked? I checked. checked. <laughs> so like, so, so you're just staying in then for sure, huh? No, yeah. I'm just kidding it. Yeah, uh, it, it, it. It gets a little boring though. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to get that. I'm not trying to get more. Yeah, I'm actually trying to build that another computer. Oh, you dude, I've been trying to build it for a while now. I'll help you. How many it's computers? Really, it's not as bad as you think. How, How much does it cost though? Yeah, it's, uh, right, right. 1200. 1200? That's yeah. nothing. I was trying to build like a three grand fucking computer. <laughs> you don't need that, bro. That's what Dude, crazy. I, I, I want to, my mother get crazy with that, man. Four grand, you know what? No, my chair is going to be Why is it going up? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you're right though. Um, since you yeah, have free time, we could be, uh, I've been like going on YouTube and just like, and we can sing like, or you can have good habits. Learn yourself. Learn like, yourself. I'm like, oh, you want something? You're learning how to like, 
backpack and stuff like on YouTube. Hey, but YouTube or Red Tube? Not YouTube. Uh, well, there's a lot of things we've learned though. Well, both of the tubes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've actually seen these like cool little kids. Kits? Um, kids. Sorry, not kids. Kits? I've seen these cool kids. And it's K I T Kits. He looks like a school too. It's, it's a kindergarten. Anyways, um, yeah, so I've just seen these kits online that's like, I, I'm trying to be a, uh, an engineer major, and it's really cool, like, you can program little computers and, like, do this or that, and it's like a 12-week course, and this many hours for you to, like, really learn how to, like, learn a language, like, from the computer language, like, the ones that are out there, like, the C++ and all that stuff, and it's just, it just seems really cool. I guess you're supposed to do that project with your kid, but, I mean, honestly, that seems like a good project just for me, again, to be productive. It could benefit me in the future, whatever, but, I mean, hey, man, YouTube teaches a lot. And do something cool, you know, be productive. Yeah, for sure. Um, the homie Khan Academy, huh? Oh, Khan Academy. <laughs> no, just learning new stuff, like you said. Uh, and like, well, we're always about fitness too, right? Let's go back to that. Like, just do home workouts. Uh, if you can't run outside, if you don't have weights, like, you could just, I don't know, carry your sister, your mom, whatever. Just like, I don't know, press press that person, you know? Like, a French press or whatever. But I feel like... I feel like there's a lot to do at home. Like the only, have you seen those memes that it says, what am I going to do this weekend? But then it says, am I going to go to like, where am I going to hang out? And then it shows like a, um, a house plan mm-hmm. or like your plan of the house. It says like the restroom, the, the, the you know, what am I going to do this weekend? It's pretty, pretty funny. You should watch those. There's a lot of memes. Cause the, the thing that sucks is that when the coronavirus started, dude, there's so many memes about this. And then it, like, it's sucks. Cause it's like, I know like nurses at work, you know, the, or like, doctors too and like dude it's no joke like coronavirus takes over your body and like the thing that sucks is like yeah like we, we young like healthy individuals it could still get to us but like it's not going to be as bad as a either as a, as a, as a baby or as a like elderly. Yeah, yeah you know but like we got to watch out like we gotta hey we can't be greedy you know no, still do your part because like even if you don't care about you getting infected maybe the people around you you live with parents kids you hang out with them you see them in the streets like, you don't want to be the, the reason why some old or young person dies just because you're ignorant, you know? Yeah. Just do your part, be safe. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's, the, the solution involves everyone, not just the that's, people in the hospital. Or the it's, very true. it's very true. I mean, you don't want to be hiking or cycling. <laughs> oh, okay, stop. Yeah, okay. Or going like, to the gym home. and stuff. Actually, if you see a old home. person, go hug them. You're a big old hug. Well, what? No, we're going to say something. We're, we're, gonna see we're uh, saying stay home, guys. Just stay home. Just, just be smart. Stay home. Nah, but we have, yeah. <laughs> we, all, we all gotta like help each other out at the end of the day. Um, and I feel like, yeah, just while I'm on this together, uh, like I said in the beginning, please, uh, like, don't worry about the gains. You know, summer's already around the corner, dude. Right now, we're, we're in spring right now, but when's summer start? Mark, May, um, uh, May. In May. a few months. <laughs> yeah. But, so you know what? At the end of the day, dude, everybody's gonna like, Either, okay, this is another thing that sucks. Like, you're like the same, you're gonna be trying. Not only like that, but <laughs> I feel like I'm getting the freshman 30, dude, and I'm not even a freshman anymore. It sucks how that it mean. You know, freshman 30 is when you grad, when you graduate high school and you go to college and then you, you gain weight because it's stressy and all that. It's called freshman 30? Freshman I've never heard of that. Never heard about that? Or like dorms. Or 15. Or 15. Yeah, 30 or 15, you still gain <laughs> weight, you still gain pounds. But, uh, yeah, dude, so. I feel like what else? What else do you guys have about this uh, epidemic? Um, Big words, guys. I don't know. I just hope, like, hopefully, it doesn't get too bad, like in uh, in places in Europe. But you know, I think we'll get through it. Yeah, we'll get through it. And like I said, we're gonna be more active. So you know, we're gonna be more active on podcasts. I know. (laughs) I know we've been uh, we missed two, but this one's gonna be for sure. Like after this, we're gonna be putting more podcasts out there for you guys. And, uh, you know, like I said, thank you guys for listening. Uh, and uh, for, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to us on uh, YouTube and uh, Spotify. Listen to us. Uh, and, yeah, any other words, HR? Stay safe. Stay healthy. Be smart, guys. I mean. And uh, please, even though this is a quarantine, donate as much as you can to the baddies. We still need the help. The IRS is still in our backs. <laughs> <laughs> we need all the help you can get. We need toilet paper, please. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for listening. You guys have a good one.